Hello, hello, I am recording bop bop bop! I really like using that. <laughs> What's up everybody? What's up gamers? It's your body as master with dirty boy swag. Former PK and resident judge Lord Gurren Shirtori here with the next MDL Maverick Draft League battle. It is round 3 and I am facing my opponent Rock of Sages aka Giant. <clears throat> Look at the team that he has for me today. Okay, so I did expect him to bring a Latias because that was something I was definitely afraid of because uh, it's a Latias. And then he does indeed have his Jolteon here. Ooh, and the Piloswine too as well. And in this little Glimmit. I wonder if he's bringing that in just to throw it away or he actually has some Nanigans coming in. I might mute myself from time to time because I am coughing. But uh, yeah, so um, possible leads here, depending on what it is. I could bring the... Um, I could bring the Smeargle first so I can put in some spores, or I could bring in the uh, Klefki first so I can put up some screens. It kind of just depends here. Um, I'm a little bit mad now because I took out Ruination, I think, on my on my, on my Smeargle. So, uh, yeah, that could have been very helpful here, actually, now that I think about it. But I guess we're going to see. But uh, <coughs> I did not stuff. But uh, yeah, yeah, we'll see we're going to be up against. I'm going to hope that my Incineroar can take out this Latias because uh, this is kind of what I was hoping to. I don't remember if Latias is outspeeds um, 202 to 350 and then this goes to... Yeah, yeah, it probably outspeeds my stuff. So that's going to be the scary part if I don't have a screen up at least. Especially if he's going to be doing... Whole intimidate thing, but uh, we're just going to have to see. Oh, it looks like we're starting to match. All right, I'm gonna start off with the smear goal, so let's just see how this goes. Oh, the Araquanid. Oh no, this is bad. Um, he might sticky webs here. I should be faster, so we should get the spore aqua. There is a bug water type. Or <laughs> sorry, oh, two times attack right off the bat. Oh. Oh, actually, I have to switch out already. Oh, sucks. Um, <clears throat> let's see. It's a switch out. I have a swords dance here. I'm gonna try and swords dance here. Ah, oh, you know what? I should have put low kick on this thing. I wasn't thinking. I should have put low kick. Oh man. Ah, if I put low kick on this. Oh man. That way, if at least he brings out the uh, fortress, then I could do a lot more damage. But wait for that now. Let's see if we can get a swords dance off. That's what we're gonna do. I did put his Araquina to sleep, so we'll see how that goes. All right, what you gonna do? What you gonna do, giant? Oh, he's oh, it stayed in, and he got the sticky webs off. Oh boy! All right, let's see. I think no matter what we do here, even if we do for an Ivy Cudgel, nothing wants to take it. So we're just going to Ivy Cudgel here and see what happens. Nothing wants to take this Ivy Cudgel. The only thing that can possibly take it is just the Fortress here at this point. It is sashed. It also popped out Toxic Debris. That's kind of scary, actually. <clears throat> I knew he was going to switch out. Maybe I should have sorted. Well, I'm still at full HP, actually, so I'm just going to Ivy Cudgel again. The same thing. Nothing can actually happen unless he uh, switches out. The only thing is the Toxic Spikes is going to be very... Yeah, it's going to be uh, going to be very bad poison. <laughs> That's what it's going to be. It's going to be very bad poison. They <laughs> do have a Rapid Spinner, technically. Let's see. Now, this is where I'm kind of scared because I don't know what to do. Because uh, I want to get rid of this. So I'm going to switch out into the cleft key and then we might have to sacrifice the eject button. I think that's the only thing. I'm going to get a switch into with the, um, uh, with the smear goal. So. Oh, he didn't do it. Interesting. Uh, let's see. What does he have left? 
Ooh, I can either do this or I can do this. <clears throat> I'm going to put this up. I'll put this up. Ooh. Ha ha, jack button. This is where I'm scared of because I don't know what he's actually going to bring into. Oh. He doesn't get to switch out. Nice. I'm going to rapid speed. But he didn't get to switch out because of my eject button. I didn't realize that's how the interaction is, actually. That's kind of funny. <laughs> that is actually kind of funny. So depending on what he goes here, he can switch out into either the Jolteon or the Latias. But I guess we'll see what he does. Because... What I'm planning on doing is, depending on what the next thing is, I might swap out the Dragapult, but... Because <laughs> I have a 2 times special attack right now, but it's going to get the special defense decrease, and that kind of sucks. So, uh, we'll see how that goes. Otherwise, I'm just going to Spore next, I think. I don't think... Yeah, if anything, I'm just not going to be able to out, like... Need less special defense. I'm going to Spore this here. Let's see what the next boosts are. Ooh, it's actually not too bad. It's actually not that bad. We're going to baton pass. <clears throat> so here he'll either switch out or he'll... um. Because I think the pilot swine is supposed to guarantee the sleep for this one turn. If not, he might wake up in the next turn. I mean, if he wakes up in the next turn, he wakes up in the next turn. I can't really do anything about that. Uh, I could switch to the Incineroar here, or I could switch into the Quagsire. It kind of just depends. But I think it's safe to switch into the Incineroar. Ooh, actually, I should have let Quagsire... Ah, I should have let Quagsire actually step onto the board. That's why it's like... Oh, it has Oblivious. I guess that's fine. <clears throat> uh... Everything except for the Latius and probably the Raconid would mind taking the flits, so we're going to Yeah, you know what? Let's let's uh let's let's just flare let's just darkest Larry. Everything it'll hit for neutral. Water type Ooh, wow, this thing is tanky. He would technically Terrastalite. He would go Ice type. He might also have Terra Blast and Rock. But if I Terrastalize now, that kind of goes away. He didn't go for the other thing. I'm actually a little bit surprised. Uh, I think I'm slower still, so my only problem is. My only problem although i should be able to take a hit i think but do i want to test the waters because if i terra now then that's gonna be kind of you it's just that i'm gonna lose the stats here it's actually this thing's pretty tanky um 18 my speed i'm actually slower right now so depending on <clears throat> what happens I do this. Okay, okay. Yup. <clears throat> we reflect. Of rock again. My turn. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it, coward. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I would like to break some sashes though. Probably put up the spike. I know he has his fortress up still. Hard switching is gonna kind of suck though. Might have to sack the 
I'm probably gonna have to sna I'm probably gonna have to sack this smeargle. Man. Freeze dry. Why oh, you went with freeze? Training keep. You keep rock sliding, you missed two. Training keys. Oh, he did use a Terrasilize on the pile of swine. The water type, though, surprised me, though, so that's actually pretty neat. What you thinking? What you thinking? I'm actually going to go for another spike. Actually, how much turns do I have? Reflect two or five turns. I'm going to actually go for another spike. Here. Ooh! Right. See what he does here. Actually, I'm going to collect. Let's see. Depending on what he does. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. If he's gonna try and rapid spin, let's see, let's see if he's gonna rapid spin. Oh, you can't rapid spin now. <laughs> he can't rapid spin now. What are you going? Giant. Let's see. I flamethrower. Everything can take it. Uh, depending on what he switches. It. What the hell? Just we'll switch out. Nope. <clears throat> this is what I'm scared of, right? No, oh, now that I think about it, I don't think I've made it at all. Yeah, yeah, I don't think I. I'm poisoned here. Probably gonna do something. I can only use flamethrower. He could have water bubbles, so fire type. Move. I don't want to sacrifice my airport. I think we're gonna sack. <clears throat> I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna sack. Up. I really don't want to. Uh, yeah. My only problem is. Uh, so, water. God. Oh God! I probably should have. Mirror code, excuse me. I'm going to put some third spikes up. See how much damage my draining does. Not a lot of damage. <laughs> That's not a lot of damage. Okay, okay. We're going to have a kiss in battle. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Oh, the mirror coat. Well, well, I mean, it doesn't feel like it's doing a lot. Go ahead, mirror coat again. Maybe he's actually doing more damage. I'm pretty sure mirror coat is a tough move. Oh, what? It did more damage, actually. Interesting. All right, <clears throat> let's see. Although, if he predicts to switch it. CERN. Yeah, let's do it again. Actually, I do have drain pipe. Not going to do much. But technically. All right, we're gonna we're gonna chance it. We're gonna chance it. Ah, oh, the liquidation cup. Oh, that was actually a lot. Hot damn. So we did see that liquidation did come in. So that's going to hurt. 
I think I'm gonna have to sack some. I think we're gonna just. I think we're just gonna we're just gonna <clears throat> last minute do some damage to it. I don't think this is gonna kill it. Kill it. Oh, I'm still alive. I am still alive. I'm also faster than it. Else, I should be able to get the stuff off. Otherwise, if he switches out, then happen. I'll heal a little bit, but I think at this point I'm going to have to sack. <laughs> and I think the Smeargle's gonna die, so we're gonna have to. S we're gonna have. We're gonna be. S we're gonna be sacking here. I think. Uh, we're gonna lose some Pokemon regardless. It's okay. Three percent is still three percent. Damn it. He doesn't have mirror. I'm gonna try because I don't think he has enough. Oh, oh, it's not enough to kill. It's not enough to kill. Before I. Oh my god, it's not enough to kill. Reads up before. Let's see if this dies. Because he can technically kill me here as well. This thing has no stuff. <laughs> yeah, let's let's see if we can wrap it. Oh, we're still alive! We're still alive! How? How? Oh my god, that is hilarious. We are still alive, baby. I don't know how, but we're still alive. Oh, that's fine. I'm just gonna hit you with it. Okay, this is it. This is it. This thing has levitate, so it's not gonna be able to hit. It's not gonna get hit by the spikes, but. Ooh, boy. Question. I know I'm slower here. I don't know what move. He Ooh, critical hit. Last Pokemon. The thing is, I can't have him set up here, otherwise, it's going to be very, very bad. Can't really shit. Okay, I can either chance the fact that he will set up or he'll kill me. It's either or at this case, because I can't outspeed him if he does any. Is Raph, he's just. That's that's bad. I think we're just going. I don't think I have speed. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna have to sack. I think I'm gonna have to sack here. The only thing is, if he starts getting too powerful, then. Right, we're gonna we're gonna try. We're gonna try. We're gonna try. Ice beam. Okay. So he can either use ice beam again. Depending. I think we can keep the typing. Get a darkest layer. Drop it. Oh, I'm still barely alive. Oh my god, I'm still barely alive. Hot damn. Alright, I'm gonna have to sack the Aurora here too, I think. 
That's the, that's the only way. That's the only way. I gotta sack him. I could have also switched out too, but that's, that's I don't want. We'll limit his options here. He can't Terra anymore, so we'll just we'll just shadow wall. Hopefully we're still alive, because that's what I'm scared of. Because I don't know if he has shot. <laughs> oh boy! All right. All right, GG Giant, GG well played. My god, a lot of thinking, and I think I just took too long to think stuff. Anyways, I guess we're going to go back to the call now and see uh, what happens in the uh, thingy. <clears throat> or we can wait for Giant to undeaf in first. Uh, I was sweating. I was sweating, man. Okay, where's the thing that I sent out? All those stuff. <clears throat> I am undeafening. Too much of a heavy. Uh oh, oh, you lost Will. Yeah, you lost Will. No, Will. So, Giant, there's a couple things I want to say. But first, okay. before that, I'd like to say GGs to you, Glenn. Congratulations on getting another win under your belt. I was sweating bullets. Oh, damn. I was like, <laughs> damn it. I don't know what to do here now. <laughs> there, was, there was a lot of interesting plays all throughout this. And you should have, you should hear the commentary between Zach and I. Mostly directed at our uh, good friend Rock of Sages here. <laughs> but Zach, continue. Yeah, what were you going to say? say and I think it's a play style that, unfortunately, Giant, I think you need to drop. Because, and I hate to say this, it's because we're all expecting it at this point. Ah, okay. You are very heavily reliant on hazards. I think you're trying to do as much damage or inflict as much possible shit as you can. However, Giant, there's a big weakness to hazards because now that we see you using so many hazards, people are probably going to prep for it. Yeah. That and also, you like to go stall, but you don't have enough oomph to kill. But no, not no, only no, that, no. when you do stall, you also want reliable recovery. And none of the mons that you have outside of the Latias has reliable recovery. Mm. So I do I think you did pretty well with what you had, Giant, but the Glamet was fine. We understand why you had the Glamet. Its yeah. job was to spread toxic spikes, which is fine. And it, it worked out really well for you in the beginning. It got the spikes off, unfortunately, the rapid spin on the on yeah. the Smeargle came out, so that was your, one thing. Your Araquanid is what made us kind of slam our heads into the thing. So, but it was, the, but it was the, web, yeah. the Leech Life and the Liquidation was okay. There is one move that I don't think you should have added because they're very, very tricky to use. Miracoat and Counter are both moves that come with high, 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 high risk. Yeah. And it can easily be stopped. Hmm. In like the case when, of it, yeah. yeah, when it was a Raconid versus a Klefki, we were wondering why aren't you going for the liquidation? What liquidation is going to do way more than Miracle's ever going to do? Because it's... that Klefki would have died way before. If yeah, you had just used yeah. When I saw that that first liquidation hit, I was like, "Oh, that did a lot of damage." <laughs> I was like, "Okay, all right." Yeah. So, so, yeah. You you, you need to understand your you need to understand your type chart again, um, because like it's a. Uh, Klefki is a fairy steel type, therefore water attacks are neutral to it. So you got to understand that, and that will help you do better throughout the rest of the tournament. But don't look grimaced, my friend, because you still have a shot. Definitely, you did, you did have three Pokemon. Yeah, definitely just... from the from the look of it, you're not going to be within the top two for sure. Yeah. But you still have a shot of making it to playoffs. You just have to think carefully about your team and how you're going to wow. you know plan it all. Now remember, take your time, plan out your team, you know, and then when you're playing, don't get flustered. That's your key to winning. Yeah. And I'm just glad I was able to... yeah. yeah, I definitely have to stop do stuff do something about the hazards. I'm just glad I was able to knock out three of Glenn's mons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, I was like, damn, I think I have to sack some mons here because like I need like better switch ins. And I think there were some moments too. I was like, oh my god, it lived. It still lived. Like <laughs> the other thing too is it's gonna sound mean. If you really want a hyper offensive dragon psychic Pokemon, go Latios. Go Latios because Latios I is is not meant to sweep. 
Latias requires setup. So if you giant, if you remember my Latias that when I did the run back with Chris, the reason why my Latias finally did what it was supposed to do. He had the right fucking terror this time. Yes. <laughs> because but, giant, because because it gets a self recovery move, and it gets calm mind. That's it fine. has the ability to base it, it avoids hazards other than um, South Rock. Yeah. But it avoids so, all other hazards. Yeah. So, really, Giant, when you're doing hazard control, the major one that you really want to go for is Stealth Rocks. Uh, spikes is, uh, if it's after Stealth Rocks, then you want like Toxic Spikes, and then you want Spikes, and then Sticky Web. Uh, actually, Sticky Web goes up before Spikes. So, it's going to be Stealth Rock, Toxic Spikes, slash Sticky Web than spikes itself because you usually only use spike uh sticky web if you're looking for that entire speed control if you're not going for speed control don't use the whole uh sticky web and like i said stealth rock is the major one because it does a lot of damage depending on what typing you are now spikes can get it also is, it's, it's it's one hazard that the only way to get around it is uh boots what the hell chris was watching this match too he was <laughs> Yeah, he's in here still. <laughs> uh, oh, and he can't say hi? What a hole. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, but overall, you did really well, guys. But yeah. Giant, just change up your play style, or if you want to truly be the tank master, look at how to tank. Yeah, that's definitely going to help you out. And Glenn, I love the team style that you had for today. There was lots of interesting Pokemon. I love seeing the sword stance on the Ogre Pond. Because, you know, Ogre Pond is just a beast, especially once you get that, that you know, plus two attack. And then, like, Incineroar, I love your your single, your single double singles team. <laughs> <laughs> My double singles team, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, great match, guys. And we look forward to seeing the rest of your matches here in the tournament. This is only week three. three. And so, let's see, Glenn, next week, you have to challenge uh, my co-host for today. You have to challenge... Uh, uh, it's good. Good for next week. For week uh, four. All right. Well, get now, get that is... loss ready. So uh, let's go. No, 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 no. I expect you to do better than what you did previously. I expect you to win. Yes, you can do this, Glenn. You have the knowledge. You know his play style after watching it for three weeks now. Do your research. Plan it out. Oh, you can do this. And then for oh, you, Giant. I mean, you know, no. <laughs> so actually, both of our competitors here have the salty run back for next week. Glenn with you, Zach, and then uh, Giant with Goof. Oh, that's... But yeah, just study your team, study your opponent's team, don't get flustered, make the right choices, and that is your key to victory. But we'll have to wait until next week to see those videos. So anyone who's watching, we'd like to thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, comment what our players should do, what they shouldn't do, or just comment that you love them. Anything helps us. And with that, we'll see you later, gamers. Bye. Bye-bye. See you, Battle Maniacs.